Hi everyone, welcome to my garden. I never buy soil. Let me repeat that, I never buy soil. We all know that quality soil comes with a hefty price tag and is one of the biggest investments we're going to make into our gardens. Today I'm gonna to show you how to never buy soil, but different ways you can save your soil and save big bucks in your garden down the line. How I am able to never buy soil is that no single scrap of soil ever goes to waste. I save all of it. First thing is garden projects. Whenever we're doing a garden project around the backyard, all this soil gets saved in a trash can in the corner. Any digging, any extra soil, we save it. The chill zone, moving a raised bed, transplanting blackberries, all that soil gets saved for later use. Now where do I store all this extra soil? Well, you may never have noticed, but it's hidden right here in plain sight. I stash it all in a trash can right behind the chill zone. Now the key to saving your soil is having storage accessible to your garden. Stash it back here, and then we use this trash can as a base when we're filling up our raised beds and add all kinds of good organic nutrients to it so my plants grow and thrive and I don't have to spend extra money on bag soil. Second, container soil. Never throw away any of your container soil. What I do is when the plants reach the end of their life, like they have here in this 20 gallon smart pot, I pull the plants out and then I take the container over to my trash can, which I have conveniently stored here next to my potting bench and store all the soil in this trash can so I can save it for later use. And again, add good organic nutrients to it later. And if there's any big roots in your container, just pull them out and compost them. Then what I do when I'm ready to replant my container or transplant a little seedling, just bring my container over here to my trash can, it's super handy, right next to my potting bench here. And I fill it most of the way up with this repurposed soil, just a few inches from the top. I'd like to keep all my supplies handy so it's really quick to transplant or up pot my seedlings. And then I get my repurposed soil, my compost here that I made here in my own backyard, top it off with compost add a handful of Vermisterra worm castings, add a little sprinkle of granular fertilizer, mix it all up. Now I have brand new refreshed potting mix made from recycled soil. My container plants look great, are growing me a ton of veggies, and the best part is I haven't had to buy any bagged potting mix at all. If you don't have any of your own potting mix to save yet, just make your own. Watch this video for how to make my cheap and easy potting mix so you don't have to spend any money on bag mix from the big box stores. Number three way I save soil is from my seed starting containers. Let me let you in on a little secret. Some of my seedlings die and this is my plant graveyard. When they die, this is where things go and then I just grab my seed starting containers, pull the dead plants out, and then again, I keep a bin of soil handy right here by my potting bench. And handy and accessible is really key to saving your soil. And then I dump the excess soil here from my little six packs in this bin. And then that way, when I'm planting something outside, planting some six packs outside, I just come back over here, fill it up, maybe add a few extra nutrients in there, pack it down, and it's all ready to plant seeds. Now I don't use a seed starting mix for any of the seeds I start indoors because it might have fungus nut eggs or something like that in it. This I reserve for starting my seeds when I'm doing it outdoors on my potting bench or on my deck rail. Now that you know how to never buy soil again, who is going to do this? I'll be reading the comments. Thanks for watching. See you next time in the garden.